over the weekend we were asking people, uh, you know, what their four number one seeds would be. And um, if you were to put the four number one seeds of this radio station. Of this radio station? Well, I mean, like, you know, like, this is the best rock bands of all time. Now, last year we did the vinyl four for the greatest rock song of all time. Rock album. Rock album, sorry. This is the greatest rock band. All right. In that conversation is going to be ACDC, Metallica. For number one seed? These are number one seeds. I don't have Metallica as a number one seed. Only reason being Rolling is, Stones. Is, is metal's a niche. It's a niche genre. Maybe Metallica. Hold on. So hold- Metallica, you got to look. I, I look at number one seed as a, as a band that has mass appeal. And Metallica is an acquired taste. I don't think so. I think it has more appeal well, than no. you think. A couple songs do, yes. But outside of those songs... Okay. Name, name the person on the street. The, the name of Metallica st- song, and it probably. All right. Well, let's, and, and let's it, put it them start, back on the bench. It starts and stops at Inner Sandman. So I have ACDC. I have the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, and I guess I need to find one more. Who would that be? I, I could go with those. Three. Would it be? Would it be Aerosmith? Mm. Mass appeal crosses yeah. over a lot of genres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would it be Van Halen? That's what I was thinking. Who has two different sounds between David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar. And this is where it gets really tricky with the Vinyl Four, okay? Because we're talking about acts. So right now we're only talking talking about number one seeds in this conversation. But what happens when it gets down to seed six, seven, and the selection committee is like, well, Ozzy went out on his own. Sammy had a solo career. Sammy had Montrose. And Sammy was with Van Halen. So you could have a scenario that lines up where Van Halen could be taken. I mean, think about this. Sammy Hagar would likely be an eight seed in the Vinyl Four, right? Uh, his solo career would likely be eight, nine, ten, somewhere in that range. But if it's an eight or a nine, he would be going against himself when he takes on Van Halen if he's put into that bracket. This is too hard to come up with number one seeds. No, it's not. What about Bruce Springsteen? Was he too pop? It's a, I would... If I was a selection committee, okay, throw Tom some, Petty. Throw some names at me. Tom Petty. Throw some names at me, and I'll tell you what likely the seeds would be. Okay, Tom Bruce, Petty. Bruce Springsteen, I would say, would be a four or five seed. Okay, Petty. Petty would be a two seed. Fleetwood Mac. Hmm. I know that Pink Floyd did really well Six seed. last year Pink when we were talking about the greatest album Pink Floyd would be a time. two seed. But Maybe a three seed because it's kind of the same Metallica argument. Rat. Rat would be like a 15 seed. Seriously, though. No, I'm serious. I'm no, 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 no. Rat, I, no, no, like no, 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 no. That was a joke. Seriously, though. Guns and Roses. Gun, Guns and Roses would probably be like a, a three or a four in my mind. Because the thing is with Guns and Roses. They are the hair band that came out of the 80s. Yeah, but they was short career. Short career. Now I know they're still touring, but they're touring on the on the uh, tenants of their success in the in the late eighties, early nineties. So that I mean, you know, you look at a career that spans seven years versus like the Rolling Stones, <laughs> where their their career spans decades. You know, so I I think that is, if you're a selection committee member, that's what you got to take into consideration. Steve Miller Band. I mean, I'm just thinking of bands that have a ton of hits. I Seven mean, very, seat. very popular. Oh, I put them at least at a four seed. Way too popular. Yeah. Among so many different demographics. How do you determine the greatest rock act of all time? Is it sales? Is it hits? Is it live performances? Bands that are known for their live performance, like Kiss. Yeah. This will be something you will vote on, actually. It won't be determined on any of those things. It'll just be determined on what you think. And we'll have this bracketology up. What are the four regions going to be that make these four seats? Uh, we don't know yet. All we know right now is we want to know your top four, right? That's what we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, if you were the head of the selection committee. If you got to give us four, more than four, I'm fine with that. Uh, if you were the head of the selection committee, which ones would you make as the four number one seats? Who would be, like this year, it was Duke, Virginia, uh, North Carolina, and Gonzaga. Who would be, Nirvana? Who would be your Duke, Virginia, North Carolina, and Gonzaga? Too short of a career? It's so impactful Who? to the 90s. Who? Nirvana. Such yeah, an impactful I, I band. I mean, that's the thing, you know? I mean, it, I, I would say Nirvana would be like a... Or a Pearl Jam. 
but the kind of niche as well. I mean, a five or six seed. Pearl Jam, maybe a well, four this or is five happening. seed. And this is coming very soon. And we've got so many. We've got the, one of the coolest prizes that we're giving away for this. If you love rock and roll. Oh, my God. The, it is insane. It's a really cool prize. What, what we're giving away. We are giving away. Uh, can we say it all? I don't think we can say yet. I don't want to. I don't want to let's, steal anybody's thunder. Let's wait until we get the official word on when. I'm we just can saying, say if it. you like going to concerts, you're, you're gonna love, love it. this concert. You're gonna love it. Uh, find out more kzoz.com. We're on Facebook. Pretty. No, no. What seed? What seed would you put in it? Ten. Wow. Eight. Ten. At, eight at best. All the hits that they had. All the hits. All the hits that they yeah, had. A couple of hits. I mean, an argument could be made that Def Leppard is a better rock band than. Guns N' Roses no. only because of the fact that they had a longer career. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.